morning. Up here, McDonald's getting some breakfast here. Hope you're all doing well. I certainly am. Today's a good day, you wanna know why? Because today is the first cold enough day to whoop out the old snap-on jacket. Had this jacket several years. It's always awesome to get to open that closet and pull this baby out for the first time for the season. Um, anyway, I wanna make this video real quick. Um, it's about a terrible experience I had. Um, my buddy's got a 2020 Cummins um, off-road farm truck that he needed uh, a little more power out of. Um, did not delete any emissions equipment or anything like that. Um, but I just tuned it to get some more power for him. Um, apparently, pulling some of this farm equipment was quite a bit of work for the old girl. The old two-year-old girl. So... Um, Finding a tuner, um, you know, preloaded, full kit with the, uh, you know, the switch and the bypass kit and everything. Super hard to find right now. Excuse me for my hiccups, but super hard to find because of the uh, EPA cracking down on people um, doing whatever the fuck they want with their own vehicle and their own money. Uh, so I did some searching. I found a few websites offering it. So I went to like the most well-known one, which ended up being DPF Delete Shop. Again, I'm not very familiar um, with tuning on the newer stuff. Um, you know, you want me to tune a Duramax, like my truck, um, easy peasy, I get you fixed up. But as far as uh, the Cummins stuff, it's, it's hard to find tuners for. So anyway, uh, DPF Delete Shop, a little bit digging saw you know i saw some bad reviews saw some good reviews and i was like eh, fuck it we'll give it a shot um so i made a purchase 1200 bucks full kit bypass cable uh cps5 auto cal v3 preloaded it's 1200 bucks uh like two weeks later it finally shows up maybe three weeks later and um you know like a week passes and i didn't even get like a confirmation on my order I want to know where tracking is so I sent them an email and like before sending them an email I tried to look around for like a phone number or something and I realized that all you can do is email this company and I was like shit just gave some random ass dude twelve hundred dollars so um, they do email me back give me like two weeks later give me a track a tracking number um, Actually, I didn't even get a tracking number. I just got a notification from UPS that somebody from Canada sent me a tune, or uh, sent me a package. So I assume that's what it was. Get to my buddy's truck, tune it, switch don't work. Um, switch is fully functional though. You turn it on, lights up, flashes, um, but doesn't flash between tunes like a normal switch. Pull out my DVOM, check it out, it seems fine. Um, I email their tech support, which is EFI Live Tech at Yahoo.com, another big red flag. They send me a new file to flash the truck with because I told them you know, the switch ain't working. And I flash the truck, and guess what? Nothing. The switch still don't work. Next day, they send me another file. This will fix it. Um, also, before I did that, I couldn't switch tunes through the auto count. It was like locked out. It was a read block error or some shit. Didn't make any sense. So I, uh, I email them. They send me a second file. I flash the truck. Now that that tune fails and wipes the vent off the PCM. So now I can't do shit. The truck's completely disabled and I don't have a stock tune. Yay. Super great. What a great day. Now I'm starting to get pissed off. So I email them back. I stayed cool the whole time, every email, because I didn't want them to just like cut me off and leave me hanging high and dry, you know, because I have no phone number, no contact, no idea who the fuck is really, you know, who I'm talking to. They send me another file, same shit. Now, um, this, you know, it, it gives me it gives me a van, I'm able to start the truck and ship, and now I have like still no switch. Um, the heated and AC seats don't work, and none of the cameras work. So I message them again. Hey, all this shit's not working. Switch still ain't working. So they send me another file. That fixes all the bugs, but now still no fucking switch. 
And now they're trying to say it's the switch. I'm troubleshooting, so that's what I do. I troubleshoot the switch. Uh, pull out my Snap-on DVOM and I go to town on it. Seems like a perfectly fine switch. No opens, uh, resistance is within you know, value according to Fish Tuning's website. I even call Fish Tuning and um, super nice people over there at Fish Tuning by the way, uh, who makes the switch. And um, I tell them, you know, I, I can't switch tunes to the AutoCal, well that's your problem. The AutoCal can't switch tunes, neither can the switch. Because the PCM's blocking it out or some shit. Alright, so I email DPF's fucking, uh, what's it called, their, their support. And they're like, no, 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 that's not true. They don't know what they're talking about. It's definitely, it's got to be the switch. I'm like, dude, I tested the switch. It's fine. So we're going to send you a new switch and we'll try that. I'm like, I don't want to wait weeks again. After I've already spent, you know, almost a month trying to get this truck tuned, 1200 bucks, and uh, I'm just gonna go buy a new switch or try a new switch elsewhere and see if that'll if that'll work. It's like, yeah, do that. So I did. I went local, found a switch at a, a local tuner that I know that I didn't even think to hit up for some dumbass reason. Gives me a switch, same shit. Switch don't work. It's a known good switch. So I'm there, I'm just like, you know what, fuck it, flash the truck, bro. I'll pay for it, it is what it is. Dude flashes the truck, I plug my switch back in, perfectly fine, truck's tuning, switching tunes, no problems. I'm like, fuck yeah. So, long story short, I'm like, I wanna, in the, in the middle of all that, I wanna call these dudes on the phone. So they can talk me through this shit, maybe do a team viewer, so we get this shit sorted out. It shouldn't take weeks to figure out why the damn switch is not switching tunes. So in my in my deep digging, I found, uh, I had to call UPS and ask them, hey, I need to know who sent me this package so I can send it back to them. <laughs> so they, they fucking gave me the address and the fucking name of the sender. And it turned out it wasn't on the box. It turns out the sender was from Evolution Performance Tuning out of British Columbia. Canada, I think it's British Columbia, but it's up in Canada, you can Google them, they're pretty well known up there, so I call their ass, and they're shocked that I have their number, and I'm calling about a diesel truck, because I guess they just do, um, like, gas engine tuning there, supposedly, because they said that they have, like, a different division that's separate, like, same company, but separate, or some shit, and all you can do is email them, so they knew that all I could do is email them. So, it's, I mean, so they know who the fuck they are. Obviously, it's them. I still don't know who DPF Fire or DPF Delete Shop is. But long story short, don't fucking use them. Don't buy shit from them. Um, at all. I thought about sending the freaking tuner off. In fact, I emailed DPF Delete Shop. Um, and they finally replied. In the, in the middle, trying to figure out what's up with the switch, I emailed DPF Delete Shop. and was like, hey, what the hell's up with this tuner? This guy's not even like fixing these problems and shit and they never replied but then when I replied and said hey or emailed and I said hey I want my money back this shit did not work out I ended up just getting it done local uh, he immediately replied like within 20 minutes and said sure here's the address so I got to think about it if I throw this back in the box and I send it back to whoever the fuck I'm probably not gonna get my money back so I just kept the shit but anyway don't ever do business with DPF Delete Shop Evolution performance tuning, like, I get it, you're scared of the EPA, shit like that, but for fuck's sake, man, there's got to be, like, a better experience. If you really want to be making money doing this shit and avoid, like, the EPA, there's ways around that, you know? Like, for instance, this truck's a farm truck, and, uh, you know, EPA can't regulate that shit, so... I, I'm not bashing on Evolution Performance Tuning. They've got really, really good reviews, and lots of them, but, I mean, you guys, they sent me the shit. They did, okay? That's where UPS picked up the package from. You know what I'm saying? That's, UPS gave me their address. So, I mean, I know it's them, and the fact that they said that they knew that I could only email, there's no phone number and shit. I mean, it just tells you, they're shocked that I knew it was them that I was calling them about this reason. It's definitely you guys. So, I mean, 
that's my experience with DPF Delete Shop. It'll never fucking happen again, period. Don't ever get, don't do business with them, guys. I'm telling you. Um, and that's it. I'll see you in the video. Hope you have a good day. Lesson learned. I'll never deal with them ever again. Um, now I have a, you know, my local guy that for some reason slipped my mind. Uh, usually I tune for myself, don't ever have problems, so never even thought to go to him. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna be going to him for any issues in the future, especially on those newer trucks. So that's it. I've got another video about another fucking scamming ass company that tried to rip me off. Um, you look for that video. So y'all have a good day. See you later. Peace.